Hello! I'm so excited to hang out with you today because we have a special guest, a special visitor. Parte de mi sangre. Hi guys! <laughs> the famous <laughs> Christina Geraldo! My little sister's in town. I sprung this on her last minute, but I decided it'd be fun if I brought her to my workout class to see if she has what it takes to hang with the big girls. I don't have what it takes. How often do you work out? Actually, sometimes I go for runs. Sometimes, but I don't like continue, like continue, like I don't run and then just like stop when I get there. Like I stop a lot, but I try. <laughs> do you do 12, 3, 30? No. I don't have a treadmill. Girl. I don't have a treadmill. How do I turn it off? I don't know, just keep talking. <laughs> I guess you're gonna cut this out anyways. <laughs> So part of the experience, or part of my ritual for this workout class is a Celsius. So I gave Christina her first one today ever. What are your thoughts? It's not bad. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, um, especially for you. So just for some context, like this trainer trains um, models. He trains uh, Phoenix Suns dancers. Uh, what's the other team we have here? Whatever the football team is we have here. So like all the hot girls come here and uh, put in that work. So are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> he just asked if she does that weird 2310 thing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so how often would you say you do physical activity? <laughs> I use like about like a month ago, it'd be like twice a week, but lately it's been like not, not. Have you ever lifted weights at all? Probably. My goal for you today is to make it through the workout. Right. Um, if we go too tough, I don't think Lauren made it through her first workout. I did make it. <laughs> I want you to focus on taking your time, not trying to keep up with Lauren. Let's just go at your own pace. I'll walk you through it. I'll be there for you. If, if you feel nauseous or dizzy, let <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. I'm so scared. So as I have currently familiarized myself with weights, I have grown to love to hate them. I have been going up on my weights and my, oh, do you remember my PR on my hip thrust? I don't, I can look it up. The worst trainer. <laughs> Doesn't even remember my PR, but I think I got up to like 175, does that sound right? Like 185, sir? I got really high on my hip thrusts, really proud of it. But yeah, hip thrusts literally suck, hate doing them, but they make your ass so fat. So it must be done. How are you doing? I'm dying. I'm not nauseous yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the first time I came, I was very nauseous. Tried to play that off. I remember thinking, oh, she's nauseous and she's trying to play it off. I'm gonna quit now. Okay, so the next part of this workout is the hit portion. Love that. Uh, high intensity interval, interval training. Um, this is where I think Christina's true colors are gonna show, girl. Just be ready. She said she didn't want to finish the Celsius, and I think 10 minutes from now, you're gonna regret it. When I did my first class here, it was this portion of the workout that I did think I was going to throw up. But now I feel like I'm going to throw up one time out of ten. What are your thoughts? That was hard for me. Like, I'm dying. I'm like... I don't need, I can't, I'm gonna say the same thing because I can't even like think of anything right now. <laughs> it's okay. I think we're gonna get some food now because if we don't, we will pass out. Where do you wanna go? Um, anywhere. Is there first watch here? Yeah, you Can want first watch? first watch? Yes. <laughs> Vamonos. Okay, Christina, tell us a little bit about yourself. I feel like a lot of you remember her from the Vine days, but she was literally a tiny little child. And now she's a full-blown woman. So for the people that have never met you, give them a little debrief. What's your vibe? What's My your vibe. story? My story? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm turning 19 next week. Also, we were just talking in the car about like some of the places we want to go. Because Christina takes me out of my comfort zone when we go shopping. Um, what do you mean? Because you like give me the tea. Like Now oh. I know that all your favorite jeans are from Hollister. No, I get my jeans from American Eagle. 
sorry. Same thing. I have been dying to explore Abercrombie in recent days because I've been seeing so many TikToks about how Abercrombie is lit. Like, it randomly got, like, amazing. It is. And my sister's like, yeah, you know, I just never buy the jeans there because they're $100. And she looks at me with this, like, smirk on her face. Like, today's the f***ing day. It's her time to shine. Tell us the game plan. I mean, I, I don't really remember what this mall has because I haven't been here in a while. But they have a lot of fancy stores. They literally do. Yesterday. It's not my fault. It's not my fault you brought me here. <laughs> they have a big Dior. No, wait. Do they? they what was the store we saw yesterday? Dior. That was Dior. Oh, boy. They have a YSL. They have a Dior. I saw it right, right just from looking at the one window. Okay. It was like bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and she knew we were gonna film this video yesterday, so she's. I've been plotting for like three days. Got it. Like setting, I'm like texting Lewis. Like, so what? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? He like goes on like this website. He's like setting me screenshots. I'm like, do you like the saddlebag? He's like, I feel like that's gonna go out of season. And I was like, you're right. I've been yeah, I've been waiting for the saddlebag to go to style, but people keep getting them. I don't. It's think, like not going know. anywhere. I asked Grandma because Grandma knows about this kind of thing because uh -huh. she wants to buy me a bag for Christmas, and I was like, I like these, but I feel like they're gonna go out of sales, and she was like, I don't think so. We'll cool. find out in a few years. Okay, we just got to the Scottsdale Fashion Square, and there's lots of stores in here. But on the real, um, I enjoy giving things to my sister. I enjoy buying things for her. Like, I think it's more enjoyable for me than it is for you I sometimes. Think so too. Like, I thoroughly love it. Because I feel really bad, but she'll just text me, like, do you want this? And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> but I feel bad. She never, like, blatantly will ask me for things, and it pisses me off because I'm like, if I were you, I'd be dropping the links. Yeah. Like, don't be shy. Okay, so I don't know if your TikTok algorithms are like mine, but apparently Abercrombie has been popping off recently, and I've seen, like, Abercrombie holes, and the clothes, from what I remember, were always really good quality in Abercrombie but now they have like really trendy silhouettes and like actually cool pieces for like 2021 vibes so I'm excited to go check it out and see like if this is tea I want to get is I want to get those like Gucci tights like the stockings because I'm wearing like this black dress this tiny black dress next week and I thought they would look so good with it but yeah I've never my sister told me to tell you why I never got them and I think it's pretty obvious because I don't have like $200 to spend on Gucci tights but she does meanwhile my wallet is screaming <laughs> how do I turn it off <laughs> you don't okay uh, tell me if I'm alone in this because I have not shopped at a physical mall I guess for quite a while because I'm standing here and I'm like wait when was the last time I've done this I'm realizing a lot of things and putting lots of things together in my mind in-person shopping at a mall used to love it like we're talking childhood teenage years when it's something you do to like hang out with your friends but this is not enjoyable to me at all like I've, I don't think I've shopped in a mall in like two years I don't know let me know if I'm alone in this or not because I'm like falling asleep there's so many lines there's so many people there's so many babies screaming like online shopping thank you for existing anyways the gucci tights ended up being 400 dollars, so we're gonna skip those mm -hmm. also the looks that i'm getting while i'm vlogging is just so funny like everyone's like what is she doing like ma'am i'm not gonna move i'm starting off at abercrombie they have so many cute things in right now like these little basics kind of reminded me of brandy melville but i feel like abercrombie's quality would be better and excuse me can we talk about these fitting rooms why do i look like i'm about to hit the runway like when i shopped at abercrombie it did not look like that i would crawl under the door because it would always be long it would be a room with white walls but anyways i am feeling this jacket like oh perfect i even tried this one on after and it didn't hit the same like you could tell i wasn't dancing or doing all the things that i was doing with the OG one so I mean that's when you know you have to get something if you're feeling yourself to the extent that you are dancing in the fitting room girl you deserve it this was super comfortable and I felt like it was a little bit more of an interesting way to take a day that you were probably gonna throw on a hoodie you could throw on this instead I got that and the designer stores I mean you know that I'm not really into designer I feel like I always eh, regret things and I can spend my money in better places but my sister's 19 so she's into it she likes to flex she's from Miami <laughs> LOL Miami flex culture not me trying the 305 sorry guys like this jacket's great but it's 6,000 bucks anyway she was happy as a clam in this store because she knew she was about to run a check on me I can't say no to her she's my little sister you feel me anyway so we did get a couple things but y'all have to wait and see and next we went to Zara which is more my style I mean right now it's definitely very holiday collection vibes like lots of cocktail dresses 
dresses, lots of dinner party looks, Christmas party looks, but we were still able to pop off. I love this dress on her, especially for Zara to come through with such a unique looking dress like this for a holiday party I thought was awesome. She was a tough one to please though, I will say that. Like most things she didn't like. And I loved this green skirt on her, but they didn't have it in her size. And excuse me, watching this footage back, I'm so confused why she didn't buy this. This is everything and like I said, hard to please. Okay, I feel like we did some damage. Um, I think we're gonna start from the bottom to the top. Yeah, like small to big, I guess. Also, just for so you're aware, this is birthday. That's fine. And Christmas. Mm, of course it is. Okay. Just... I never, like, she's gotten me so many good gifts that I've told her so many times, like, never buy me anything ever again in my life. But she just outdoes herself every year. Period. So first I got this dress, and I think I'm gonna wear it on Christmas. But it has like these cutouts on the sides. It's super cute. This is from Zara and I feel like, you know the vibes when it's like, pick out the family Christmas dress that you're gonna wear for the family Christmas party. I feel like it's so easy to pick the most like generic black dress. And they all kind of look like whatever. Like especially if you're getting it from like a Bloomingdale's or a Nordstrom's like, she looks like every other bitch. You feel the vibes? But this one from Zara, like, don't walk, run. This is everything. It's giving me, like, not exactly, but just, like, same energy as the revenge dress that Princess Diana wore. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got, it's really simple, but I, like, really cute, just silk black skirt from Zara. And I thought this was super cute. It's, like, casual, but dressed up at the same time. Um, what is the worst part about having me as a sister? <laughs> Probably that you live far away. Oh, okay, that's cute. Yeah. Um, uh, what is the biggest difference about me at 19 and you now about to be 19? Uh, I think I'm a lot more calm, right? Yeah. Abercrombie really stepped up yeah, their Yeah, I did. So, I got this, wait, this is yours. No, yeah, I couldn't resist, like, you shopping for myself yours. in some places. This crew neck from Abercrombie really did it for me. She was like, I can't wait to wear this in Vail, and I was like, don't wear it in Colorado. Like, don't wear what you're going on vacation, like don't wear anything that says a place because you just look like a tacky tourist. She's like, I was just in San Francisco and mom told me to wear my San Francisco hoodie and I was like, no, are you crazy? And I was like, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> so this is the one I got. I really like it. It says Aspen, Aspen, Colorado. And it's just like the little thing. And then it has this on the back. And I like the neckline. Okay, next question. Do you like Kenny? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is such a good one. Yeah, I really, really, really like this. Jacket. Honestly, put it on and describe yeah. the fashion transformation was, that you're about to undergo because, like, uh, I was a little like she pulled it and I was it didn't like how it looked on the hanger, but then I put it on my body and I was like, I never want to take it off. The amount of times I told her, do not put this in the washing machine or the dryer. Yeah. I've ruined so many leather things. But that it's is so nice to like let's layer. Yeah. Yeah. You. This was definitely your plan. Like you were plotting yeah, this. Yeah, I was plotting this the second she told me about this video. I'm very, very, very excited about it. I think it's so cute. I almost don't want to take it out of the box. Like me I'm sweating when they swipe my card. I'm like, I hope it gets approved. <laughs> oh. So. Oh. Yeah. It's she... like a choker from Dior. Yeah. She did it on her. Okay, but this is the question that I had for her in the store because like look, I don't personally go for designer things. I just I don't know. I feel like I was into it when I was like more your age. And then I kind of just like stopped being into it. So what I said to her at the store is I'm like, I bet this is gonna be one of those things that it's like a million dollars for the choker and you can't shower with it. I'm gonna need a fact check yeah, with that. I forgot to ask her. But Dior and all those like mall stores like give me the vibe. Like you spend a million dollars on it and you like can't, you can't get shower. it wet. <laughs> like hello. But Dior is like a really nice store. It's like it's not necessarily like a mall store. But yeah, I love this necklace. That is hot. It's so, like go close. It's so pretty. That's good. Okay. And then I got finagled. So we were in the store and I Pulled out these shoes. I bought these initially for myself. I again, I don't buy like shit like this, and I feel like these are just like so versatile. You can style them with streetwear, and this bitch at the end of the day goes, actually, I do want them. So I'm like, okay, take mine. Yeah, these are so cute. <laughs> you literally finesse me with those, but enjoy. They look like that on. Have you seen the vine? And this is what they look like on feet. And this is what they look like on feet. I haven't <laughs> seen that. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. 